part of homeschooling is to prepare them for life. It's not just the academics. It's not the math. It's not the history and the reading and the science. That's part of it. But another huge part of homeschooling is preparing our kids for life and therefore preparing them for marriage and parenthood themselves. Misty, I'm so glad to have you back today. Uh, This is fun. I love talking about marriage. And, you know, I think it's so important. And you kind of touched a little bit on this about just modeling this to our kids as our kids are growing up and they're seeing our marriages displayed in front of them. And, and I think they are very in tuned to us. Mm -hmm. I think kids observe more than we often think they observe. And that can be a really good thing, but it can also be a really scary thing if, you know, we're having struggles, whether in our marriage or our parenting or just, you know, with a job or life or whatever it is, but kids are not dumb. They know um, when there's struggles and they know when things are going really well. And so I think on both ends, it's important for us to set this um, example for our kids and to model for our kids what a good, healthy marriage looks like, because Mm -hmm. part of homeschooling is to prepare them for life. It's not just the academics. It's not the math. It's not the history and the reading and the science. That's part of it. But another huge part of homeschooling is preparing our kids for life and therefore preparing them for marriage and parenthood themselves. And I was thinking about uh, years ago before Brooklyn was born, Garrett and I used to own a uh, stationery store. And so we sold wedding invitations and birth announcements and things like that. And it was always so funny to me because people would come in and they would spend a ton of money on wedding invitations, Mm -hmm. hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I was like, you know, it's just paper, right? (laughs) But they would be these beautiful, elaborate invitations. And it was great for us because that was our business. But I remember thinking, you know, these, I hope that these people care as much about their marriage as they do about their wedding. And, um, it, it, something that we are really trying to instill in our girls, of course, just the sanctity of marriage, the importance of marriage and that unity, because it really is a display of Christ and his bride, you know, the church. Um, So talk to me about how you work with your husband to display a good, healthy marriage for your kids as they're getting older. Now you've got your oldest ready to graduate and launch into her world of adulthood. How have you prepared her for that? Yeah, well, I think For me personally, my parents were divorced when I was 11. And so I was a church bus kid. I did not, my parents were never in church. And so I didn't really have that model of what a Christian marriage is supposed to look like. So, or or what it should look like. You know, there were people within our church, of course, my church that was married. And, you know, I had an aunt um, that took me to church, but overall I didn't have that model. And so when my husband and I got married, Um, we actually, my parents couldn't even agree on, um, my wedding period. So we eloped (laughs) and went to Tennessee and got married. And I had always dreamed of this big, fancy wedding in a church. And I had all of these expectations of what I wanted my wedding to look like. And so starting right off, um, my marriage did not necessarily meet my expectations (laughs) or what I thought, um, marriage should look like. And we've openly talked to our kids about this. Um, we actually took them back to where we got married and, you know, I have tried to instill in them that, you know, we might not have had what, you know, it would make the cover of a wedding magazine, but, at the, at the end of the day, you know, your marriage is not about the wedding. It's about right. the marriage. It's about the relationship. It's about um, building this life together. And I think that our society and our culture puts all of this pressure on young couples coming in um, about, you know, what marriage is supposed to look like and, you know, starting with the wedding. Um, so, you know, that's something that we've definitely tried to train um, our kids or, you know, model to our kids is that, you know, marriage is not about the wedding. It's not about this fancy ring. It's not about a fancy house. It's about building a life together. It's about the vows that you make to your spouse um, and the vows that you make to God. And those are important. Um, so that's one thing that, you know, we have really tried to instill in our girls. Um, we do not allow, you know, casual dating. Um, that might be one of those touchy subjects. I don't know if you want to elaborate (laughs) into that. Um, but you know, we believe that, you know, dating in general is a model of marriage, you know, um, whenever you start dating, you want to make sure that the person that you're dating is somebody whose values line up with yours and 
who you could, um, you know, see marrying someday. You know, there might be a getting to know each other period, but at the end, you know, even dating um, should be with the mindset of marriage. It's important for that. I believe that's what God, you know, wants us to do is to not, you know, um, date around or whatever, but to just build a life um, of value, you know, with somebody. So um, I don't know if you want to elaborate any more on that or yeah. if we want to keep yeah, moving no, forward. Go, go ahead. We we actually were in the same boat with you and, you know, we've got a 17 year old mm-hmm. and it's so interesting because she's, she's had some, some young men in her life who she's mm-hmm. talked with, you yep. know, but not been in a serious relationship. Mm-hmm. And it's so interesting because she's the one who will say, and it, it's, I think, because we've talked about this for her whole life, you know, she's like, I, I could never see myself marrying mm-hmm. him. And so you know, she'll just kind of ease her way out of that. You know, they can be friends, but you know, she's like, it's nothing more than that because he's not someone I would ever marry. And she doesn't want to date just for fun. You know, we've talked a lot about heartbreak, you know, Garrett Mm -hmm. and I went through our high school heartbreaks. I mean, from middle school all the way through high school. And I mean, that's a huge regret Mm -hmm. that I have. And I wish that I had not gone through that. And I don't want my girls to go through that either. Um, And one of the things that I've told my girls is with, when it comes to dating, I've given them the analogy of a heart. Mm -hmm. And every time you get into a relationship with a a young man, you give him a little piece of your heart. And on your wedding day, you want to be able to give your husband your entire heart, Mm -hmm. not just a heart that has a bunch of pieces ripped out of it that you've given to someone else. And so, um, so yeah, I mean, though, though it's so funny, Brooklyn, my oldest, she refuses to call it courting. She's like, don't ever ever call it courting. <laughs> like Same. you call it whatever you want, <laughs> but she, she will not allow us to call it courting. She thinks that's, that's what would she say? Cringy. <laughs> yeah. And I think that having like-minded people around you too, as you are, yeah. um, you know, encouraging your children to date that way, to date with the idea towards marriage, I think mm-hmm. is important because, you know, we switched churches in the midst of, cause there were a lot of changes for us in 2020. Right. We switched <laughs> churches in the midst of all of that too. And at our old church, Um, there were, there were no other families that really had those same values in regards to dating as us. And at our new church, Mm -hmm. um, there's a a lot more homeschool families, not that homeschool families are the only ones that have those values, Sure. but I have found that, you know, there are many more that have that same, um, those same values and those same um, ideas towards dating and towards marriage, um, as us. And I think that has been really, really important for my girls to see that. And, and my son, you know, he's young. Uh, my girls have had, you know, same thing. They've had some, you know, interest. Um, my daughter um, was actually in, you know, in a relationship and it's been, it's been fun building relationships with the other family. And then mm-hmm. also just seeing them respect each other and respect, um, you know, their godly values and their parents and seeing that same model that we're trying to live up with our kids seeing that also being lived out in, you know, her boyfriend's family as well. And it's just, it's wonderful. And it's exciting for me having teenagers, you know, and seeing, seeing these things take shape and knowing that, um, you know, someday I'm going to get to watch that with my kids. So, but we can move on from that. I don't know yeah. how much more you want to get into with that. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. No, it's, yeah. but it's important because it really mm-hmm. is, that is part of homeschooling, yeah. you know, like I said, is, is training them and mm-hmm. raising them up so that they will have successful marriages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I they mean, see traits and, and, want and, that. and yeah, and they see traits in their dad that they want one day in a husband and, you know, they yeah. might see traits, you know, in their dad that they might not want one day in a husband. Sure. <laughs> and it's the same with the other, you know, the other way too, you know, um, I know that they're, their boys might, you know, see traits in me that they're like, mm, I don't necessarily know that I want you to one day grow up to be your mother <laughs> in some ways. But there's also, you know, traits that I hope that they see too, you know, and um, it's been, it's been fun. It's been a fun part of life. And it's a season that um, I just, I always dreaded, but now I'm just, I'm loving it. There's parts yeah. I don't like too, but it's, it's been really fun. Um yeah. And I know another thing, you know, with, with having teenagers and having them reach those marriage years. And, um, one thing that whenever we first got married, that was really kind of frowned upon was, um, having kids, you know, right after you got married and the joys of children. And I think that is something else that in today's society, um, children aren't necessarily, I don't feel like always seen as the gifts that they are, 
um, and we are very much a self-focused culture, I feel like, and that's something that wasn't modeled to me that I'm hoping um, will someday be modeled, you know, that my kids will one day um, take a different, you know, outlook of, and that is, you know, not waiting until the perfect time to start a family. And that's something that even, you know, the girls have also talked about, you know, with possible future mates, you know, what do you see your um, life like, you know, do you see yourself having children? You know, when do you see yourself having children? Um, What do you, you know, want me to do as a, as a wife, whenever, you know, we do have kids? Um, What do you see our lives being lived out as you do you see yourself homeschooling? Do you see yourself doing, um, you know, going to public school? And I think that is something, too, that, you know, we really need to talk to our kids about. And those are important topics that I don't think are always addressed when people get married. And it's something that um, I wish I would have maybe thought more of, you know, um, when I was dating, you know, that I didn't really fully take into account. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 